on a distant planet where gunslingers and steam trains contend with plasma weapons and spaceships lies an infamous hub of merchants, mercenaries, and bounty hunters. In what once was a small village of farmers, now designated a neutral hub of transients and traders, a lone child honoring her mother's dying wish learns that the man whose name she uttered, the notorious bounty hunter Cult of Black Hand, has been spotted at the Harpdale Saloon. This is Outlawed Faith. And Outlawed Faith is Hell on Wheels meets Firefly. It's this expansive universe where the Galactic Federation has reached a little bit too far in Alpha Prime and a galactic war occurs and they have to pull back, leaving Alpha Prime to fend for itself out there. Well, during the war, these mystic seers start to sway the side, so they declare them outlaw and they actually hunt them down. And they also declare all things of faith outlawed because faith begets hope, hope begets love, and they take that down. And out on Alpha Prime is this little girl, Celine. Her mother has just died and she realizes that she might have these powers. And her mom tells her, go find Colta Blackhand, this notorious gunslinger. So she heads out to the local town and in the saloon, there she finds Colta. But see, Colta is a reluctant hero. He feels he's unredeemed. And through her eyes, Colta begins to believe again. He begins to rise up, a warrior of light, a person of hope, a person of redemption. It's an epic adventure set in a steampunk Western universe, a story of hope, of love, of light. These are the stories that we want to tell. These are the stories that we find important. These are the stories that are needed to be told in today's time. You know, there's a lot of darkness out there and we need stories like this that bring people together, that unify, that remind us of who we are, that redeems us all. So I hope that you'll join us on the journey to bring outlawed faith to life. And thanks for watching.